What's up, people? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own digital movie poster for your home theater or your man cave. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. All right, so let's start off with what you need. You're going to need a computer, a spare monitor or TV. And if you want to do this wirelessly, you're going to use a Chromecast or any type of digital streaming stick. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a cheaper alternative that you can use with just the TV and the USB thumb drive. So here I have a 24 inch monitor set up to use that as an example. Um, this right here was $100 on Amazon. I'll have this link down in the description if you want to check it out. So as you can see, you're going to need to mount your TV in a portrait mode. So that's real simple to do. Just reverse the back of the mount and you're going to have it mounted vertically. So since I don't want to have my computer always connected directly to the monitor, I'm going to use the pro screencast to cast my images from my computer to this monitor. Now you can use like a, a regular Chromecast, one of the on Chromecast sticks, or if you had a TV that has Chromecast built in, that will work as well. All right, so let's head over to my computer and I can show you the free software that makes all of this work. All right, so now we're at the app, which is called Movie Poster App. We're gonna go ahead and go to Downloads. Now, from my experience, the dev build is normally the latest version, so we're gonna go ahead and download the dev build, which right now is version 2.3.0.6. Go ahead and download that. As you can see here, it says Movie Poster is not registered. Now, I said this is a free app. This is a free app, but you're gonna have a red message at the bottom of your screen that says not registered. In order to get that removed, you have to donate to the creator of this app. All he asks for is a donation of more than $10 and he will send you a registration code, which will remove. If you can see here on this version, it says not registered down here at the bottom in red. So if you want that removed, donate $10 to the developer of this app and he will send you a registration code. Real nice guy, put a lot of hard work into this app. So definitely uh, if you enjoy the app and if everything's working for you at that point, then go ahead and get your registration code. But for right now, we're not going to get the registration code. We're going to go ahead and hit exit on that. Now, as you can see, the screen is up. You can see this is the movie poster here. So before we show how you get this over to the computer, let me just go through some of the settings. So on plugin options, you can tie this in with Kaleidoscope. Plex is what I use, uh, Cody and Jellyfin. Now, what this does is if I play a movie on Plex, it'll automatically show up on my movie poster saying now playing it'll show the, the runtime how much time is left the ratings all the pertinent information so i think that's one of the coolest features about the movie poster but i'll show you that a little bit later now into appearance you can customize the logos the name of the theater the font the text everything is customizable and really cool now here you can select how you want the different uh transitions to go so in between posters there's a transition right now i just have it to fade but as you can see there's a a large list of different transitions you can use sources is pretty much where they're pulling the movie posters from i normally just leave this alone other posters again if you want to pull posters from a different source i usually just use the default you can have trailer options to see if you wanted to play movie trailers and if so what the quality would be i all controls and all this stuff i do not use so here is where we need to be so as you can see it's right now set to portrait and it's set to rotation is set to zero so we're going to be casting this to a tv so what we want to do is change the rotation from zero to 90 okay so what that will do is once we hit save, let's go ahead and save again. So for some reason, my screen recording stopped working. So I'm going to just record it this way for now. So as you can see now I have, let me just try it one more time. Okay. Yeah. Screen recording is not working. So as you can see now, the screen is 
sideways on my screen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hit maximize on this. So now this is the full screen. Okay. So now that I disconnected the casting from my other computer, I'm going to go ahead and connect this one. So let me see if I can go ahead and connect. All right. And now we connected. Now you can see that my screen is now showing up. I'm going to close this and there, there we have it. So we have the same thing showing on my computer, which is showing on the screen. And that's pretty much it. So I told you I was going to give you a workaround if you didn't want to go through installing the app, uh, you didn't have an extra computer to use. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a USB drive, USB uh, thumb drive, plug it into your computer, right? Then you're going to go on the internet, download all your favorite movie posters. So depending on how many you download, depending on how long this video will be, you're going to compile all of those files into a video file. Just place one movie poster after another, have each movie poster on the screen for maybe 10, 15 seconds, and then another, then another. Create that to a video file. Don't forget to put it in portrait mode. Then you're gonna take that video file, put it on your thumb drive, plug your thumb drive into your TV, and just play that video file. And I'll give you a, an example of what that looks like here. So that's what I did before I started using the software. Now, of course, the software is 10 times better because it's going to pull all the latest movie posters from the Internet. You don't need to do anything. It automatically just goes out and grabs them. So if you want me to do a tutorial on how to do that process, just let me know down in the comment section. So if you got any value from this video, do me a favor hit that like button and think about subscribing to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. So again, I want to thank y'all for watching and until the next time, peace out.